we will do relation between electric current and drift velocity. We know electric current is what? There is a relation, the charge passing through a cross section in time t, then in one second the charges passing are q upon t and that is measurement of electric current i. This is our fundamental relation. Okay, now we have to replace this thing with an expression carrying drift velocity. Then we will get the measurement of electric current. Okay, here is the situation. This is a conductor. In this conductor there are charge carriers, electrons. For this electrons measurement, we introduce a term and that term will always remain with you. That is small n. Small n is number of electrons per unit volume of conductor. This is also known as number density. Okay. Per unit volume. In one volume, the number is n. Okay. First target is how much charge passes in how much time. Now, all these electrons, when we apply electric field in this direction, electric field. Then, due to this electric field, electrons experience a force, start moving in this direction. And what is their velocity? Drift velocity. So, these electrons are moving in this direction. Now, we make a gate, a border here. This is electron, this is a conductor in this direction, this is a conductor in this direction. We have taken only this section which has got length equal to L and cross section area equal to A. This is the conductor we are considering at present. The last electron in this conductor is this one. The first one, somebody, whosoever is here. Now, all these electrons which are filled in this experience a force and start drifting. They will cross this area. We will say this is a cross section which will be crossed. We want to find out how much charge, how much time. How do we do that? We look to the last electron. This comes here. All the electrons they get shifting like this, 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 this and last electron when cross. When the last electron cross here, I can declare all these electrons have crossed because all the electrons are before this electron. So that is a mark that all the electrons which we are presently seeing in the conductor will pass over this when the last one cross this. So, how much charge is at present in this conductor which will pass this during this time, which will pass this. How much is the charge here, Q? How do I calculate? I know that on one electron the charge is E. How many electrons are there? So I will start my calculation with that. That is number of electrons in conductor. This is okay having length L area A. So volume, volume is how much? A into L and in one volume there are n electrons. So number of electrons is n into volume. That is n into A into L. This is volume, area, base and length. This is number of electrons in the conductor. How much is the charge on those particles? Total charge in the conductor. Total charge in the conductor. This total charge Q is equal to N A L number of electrons multiplied by charge on one electron that is E minus E. This is the total charge inside this conductor. Okay. 
once we know this charge now we come to the second thing that this will come here and all this charge is passed from this cross section if all the charge has passed from this cross section how much time it has taken answer the time taken is the time taken by this electron to cross this that will be the last electron all electrons are before that so all the charge has passed when this electron passed now it start from here the passing this electron travels this distance how much time it takes so for time we have in kinematics time is equal to distance upon velocity so time taken is equal to distance upon velocity how much is the distance l how much is the velocity velocity of each electron is drift velocity this is also velocity drift velocity so we can very well write here drift velocity okay so l upon vd is the time charge is this time is this place it there so i is equal to q upon t putting the values this q is minus n a l e this is to be divided by time and the time is l upon vd l upon v drift so this is equal to l l is cancelled this vd will jump over and this will be minus n e a v drift n e a and this will come here v drift and negative so this is our measurement of electric current how it is related to n e a drift velocity it is related to drift velocity this way so i is equal to n e a v d this negative what does it show negative show that direction of current direction of current is taken as opposite to direction of drift velocity that is the significant of this minus otherwise magnitude wise i is equal to n e a v d i is equal to n e a drift velocity so this is our famous formula for electric current related to drift velocity so please remember this is an important one in the previous lecture we had done that drift velocity is equal to e e upon m into tau and this was negative for electrons positive for positive so this was drift velocity and this is electric current related to drift velocity okay please see here n is number of electrons per unit volume whose property is this this is property of metals when we change the metal then current may change e is charge on an electron which is a constant area if area is large how uh, things are asked in this in this it is asked that if current is constant and we increase the area what will happen to drift velocity if this is constant this is constant this is constant then a into d is a constant if we increase the area drift velocity will decrease remember this you should take help of this formula when you are finding the effect of many other things if a is constant and we are we are increasing current by applying more cell more batteries current is increasing then what is happening to drift velocity answer drift velocity is increasing because all these are constant so it depends upon in the relation of two quantities rest of all the quantities should be taken as constants 
then only otherwise you cannot find relation between the two quantities so for this and for any other lesson please remember when you want to find out relation between two quantities write a relation make sure the relation should be such that all other quantities should be constant so if material is same area we are not changing we are increasing current drift velocity will increase correct if current is constant we are increasing area drift velocity will decrease because this is constant so this is how this is how we relate the thing so please remember these two formulas again we are going to use it in our next lecture so in next lecture we will see what are the essential things when we want to uh, make an electric current when we want electric current should flow practically in our lab then which are the things required conditions required how a current flow in a conductor and after that we will study what is meant by resistance thank you